Wraps around the waist are fouls this year. End of story. Put air in the whistle. Blow it. First one, let's go obvious. Corey Joseph understands that he's beat on the switch. Rodney's gonna slip, and we get the tug. Pretty easy, right? And we would all call that a wrap. It's a hold, really. But do you see the wrap there on the hip? That's what we're looking for this year. That is Vice President of Referee Development and Training and longtime NBA referee Monty McCutcheon, who joins us now to talk about points of emphasis for the upcoming season. So, Monty, let's start with freedom of movement. What is going on there? Well, you know, we met throughout the year with our competition committee, which is made up of owners, general managers, coaches, and, and players. There's referees on it, Mark Davis and, and Jason Phillips as non-voting members to give a refereeing perspective. But the, the real basketball people of our league realize that some of the rules that we have on the books and have been on the books for many years were not being stringently enough enforced. And our role then, when we come out of those competition committees, is to, to be the adjudicators, to be the enforcers of the things that, that our game has slipped in. And in this case, freedom of movement, we realize that through some of the coaching perspective that our league is changing. In particular, our defensive schemes are changing to where there's more switching. And as such, there are certain ways that we were informed that coaches like to attack those switches slips, dumping it down into the post, but some of those schemes were not, be allow were not being allowed to, to be used because the enforcement of our rules was not up to par with their desire. So that if one person in defending pick and roll could both show and wrap and hold someone back from slipping, that forced more isolation basketball. And th so through these mini meetings, and they occur throughout the year, we came to the understanding that our freedom of movement guidelines that have been on the books for many years needed to be more stringently enforced, and that's what we're going to do this year. In particular, we're going to make sure we focus on wraps on the perimeter, holds, two-handed holds, two-handed pushes that steer screeners or steer defenders in a certain way. And in the post, we wanted to make sure that the reroutes and the impedes were being enforced properly so that we had a more beautiful, free-flowing game in which the best athletes in the world, which is what we have, are allowed to show their talents. Fascinating. Now, another point of emphasis for the upcoming 2018-19 season is respect for the game. What is the intention here and how is this going to look different for NBA fans this upcoming season? I don't think it's going to look any different. The respect for the game guidelines we've had for almost a decade now. And so I don't believe that there's any desire on our part to have more technical fouls or to adjudicate the standards that we've had for many years any differently. What we do want to do is be consistent in enforcing our guidelines so that coaches and players have the proper tools to be successful every night. So that if something occurs on Tuesday night, they can fully Fully expect it when their opponent does it on Thursday night for it to be adjudicated fairly and properly and consistently from a night to night basis. And that's our goal there. Remember, the points of education tape that we send out is in large part not because necessarily one thing is wrong, but that it emphasizes the things that the values of our league hold true. And we value the fact that the game and the players is where the focus should be, not on the relationship with referees. Monty, how many times throughout the year do you hear the comment, I don't even know what a travel is anymore? So talk to us about that point of emphasis for this upcoming season. Well, I wish I had a nickel for every time I heard that uh, to answer your first question. I think traveling uh, obviously is something that we always want to be emphasizing and being aware of. We've changed our mechanics uh, with our referees so that we now have a system of sequencing where we look that includes feet first the release of a proper dribble, and then get to the defensive player where we have traditionally uh, focused our energy on. And by changing our mechanics, we, saw, we have seen over the last several years an increase in our accuracy there. We want to continue to be uh, accurate in adjudicating and enforcing traveling for the following reason. When we allow travels to occur through not doing good work and not sequencing our eyes to the proper places, those missed travels, those incorrect no calls, 
lead to fouls on the defensive team or open layups or open three-pointers. And that statistically is true. And so we have to do a better job so that defensive teams are not being placed at a disadvantage on a nightly basis. Monty, uh, it's going to be tough for you to top that suit in our next visit. You are really doing it with that. But we really appreciate your time, all the efforts to make the game uh, an even better uh, uh, game of NBA basketball. Have a great season. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Rick. It was a pleasure to be here. You have a great season as well.